y'all. So I'm saying this now to remind myself that the gym video, which you've already seen, um, I did a whole bunch of my gym ramble talks, and I don't want to, I don't want to bore you guys with that. So I'm just gonna make it into a little edit at the beginning of this video. And just do a little car talk. The reason I want to do a little car talk is because my son did something today. It made me think about it. And all of my kids have done it. Um, and I don't know if it's maybe just younger people these days or I mean, or, or everyone, but honestly, probably everyone, because I know I did it when I was a kid and I still do it now. It's just, I was raised a little differently and especially being military, um, we just kind of do shit a little different. But what I'm getting at is, is people these days, especially the younger generation, succumb to fear way too much. And I say that because, so my son called me and he was walking into McDonald's after he got out of school. And like he's on FaceTime, then all of a sudden he like drops the phone down, turns around and like runs out. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? There were people in there, dad. No shit. He's like, yeah, there was like four people in there like waiting to order their food. Okay, get in line. And, like, I know for a fact that there's been many a times in my life that I didn't want to do things because I was afraid of what could possibly happen. But if you always live in fear of what could possibly happen, then you'll never do anything. You'll never excel. You've lost before the battle has already begun. Like, I don't know how else I could put that. And I, I bring up being military because growing up military and being in the military. Like, if I was afraid to do something as a kid, my dad would just say, suck it up, buttercup. Go get done what you need to get done. And that's really just all there is to it. Same thing in the military. You know, especially when I was junior enlisted, if an NCO told me, go get this done, or I need you to do this, and I was afraid of doing that because whatever freaking anxiety, you gotta push through that, no matter what. Because your NCOs need it done. If I had to go get, I mean, okay, another example. When I was the supply NCO, which I was never supply, I was just tasked as being supply representative. But I was the supply NCO for my company, and I worked directly for my commander. My commander said, do X, Y, and Z, because I need it done. Whether I had to delegate, or whether I needed to do it myself, it needed to be done. And if the commander tells me to do it, guess who the commander derives his power from? The President of the United States. He's a commissioned officer. I don't get to just, well, no, because I'm a friend. No. Get it done. And if you go and you just, you understand that you're afraid of a a possible outcome 
or what if this might happen or what if that might happen? And so you don't do it, you're never going to succeed. You're never going to excel. If you continue in the face of adversity, yeah, you might fail. That scary outcome might happen. But generally speaking, it won't. Or if it does, and it does again, and it does again, and it does again, at some point, you might get the outcome that you want. Business owners. Do you think they start a single business and then it succeeds immediately? No. Most business owners fail multiple times before they have a successful business. It happens. You know, there's so many times that like I've needed my kids to do X, Y, and Z or, you know, whatever. And they're like, but dad, what if I mess up? What if someone makes fun of me? What if blah, blah, blah? So are you telling me just because you think, you think something might happen, you're going to hide away in your room for the rest of your life? That sounds like a crappy way to live to me. You know, I've done a lot of things in my life. Been to a lot of places, seen a lot of things, done a lot of things. I'm almost 40 years old. And 30, I'm 38, 37 of those years have been affiliated with the military. And even that one year that I say I wasn't a, I was still a contractor. Guess what? I got out of the army. I, one, I joined the army, first off. Do you think that was easy? No. Was I afraid? Yes. Did I graduate basic training? Yes. Did I graduate the Air Traffic Control Academy? Yes. Did I make it to the ranks of the non-commissioned officers? Yes. Did I go to multiple promotion boards before I passed it? Yeah. I failed the first time. I didn't make it. So should I just, oh, oh woe is me. I'm not going to. No. I went again, and I passed it, and I became an NCO, and then I did it again, and became an NCO, not again, but you know, I got promoted to staff sergeant. You know, if you are just so afraid of a possible outcome, you'll never succeed. So I'm going to make this one short. Good, a good buddy of mine, when he PCSed away from Davis Monmouth Air Force Base, he gave this to me. He, and he started it out with, I hope you fail. And paused. And everyone in the room looked flabbergasted. Who does Sergeant Green think he is saying he hopes we fail? then he continued his speech. He said, because if you fail, that means you tried. And if you fail again, it means you tried again. And then at some point, you will succeed. Because if you never fail, that means you've never done it. So get out there. Fail. Keep failing. Because at some
some point you often see 